me, guilty verdicts, years in the making after two teens were killed. Two men have now been convicted in the 2016 murder of Enrique Rios and Elijah Moore. They were both 16 years old at the time. The bodies of the teenagers have still not been found. And new at 11, ABC 10's Luke Clary is hearing from one of the teen's mothers calling the verdicts a step towards justice. In the shade of a tree standing in her front yard. Well, I come out here if I feel like I'm stressing or if I feel like I'm going to cry. Lola Rios Gutierrez on the moment her son's killers were convicted. It felt like the judge was taking forever to say, um, you know, to the clerk, go ahead and read the verdicts. But as soon as we heard it, I cried even more. I was so happy. Shandel Shannon and Jesus Campos found guilty by a Yolo County jury for the murders of Lola's son Enrique Rios and his friend Elijah Moore in 2016. Another suspect, David Frost, was convicted in 2018. His brother, Jonathan Frost, pled to second degree murder and cooperated with the investigation. I always have people tell me he was so kind, he was so respectful. In the years after Enrique was killed, this tree has taken on new meaning. I come out here when I want to just look at his picture and talk to him or that's why I have this out here. Prosecutors say that the suspects brought Enrique Rios to a secluded area near Knight's Landing where they shot and killed him. And despite years of search efforts, his body hasn't been recovered so that his family can lay him to rest. It'll help to be able to actually bury him somewhere where family could go visit him but I don't think I'll ever get closure. It's a pain shared by the family of Elijah Moore, who also hasn't been found. The total loss of a child. I mean, we grew up together. I was 16 when I had him. And when I think about it, at 16, he was taken from me. So that's six, I don't know. Lola says closure may never come. Since we can't have an actual spot for him, uh, this is the spot for him at home. But the convictions are a step toward justice. And this tree, a tribute. And Shannon and Campos face a potential sentence of up to life without parole. Their motive for the killings? Prosecutors say it was over three ounces of marijuana that Elijah Moore stole from them. It's such a heartbreaking case and some justice tonight for those family members. Luke, thanks.